Hi, welcome to the channel. Today, so today we're going to do a quick review and test of this Axel camping mattress. Now, full disclosure, they sent this out to me to give it a test, um, but obviously it's just my unbiased, truthful opinion. I'm not being paid to say anything or to give it a positive review. I'm just here on a nice wild camp on Minifland, Canada in South Wales to give it a test. So you can see it packs down to a reasonable size. It weighs in at just over 900 grams. I'll give you all of the specs on screen throughout the video, so that's not gonna to be too much of a technical um, video. I'll give you more of a test of it. Now, the good thing about this camping mattress is it does come with a foot pump that's built in. So you just lay the mattress out, stand on it a few times, and it inflates. I tested it at home, took me a couple of minutes to inflate all the way, so it wasn't too much of an ordeal. And the other good thing about it, it comes with the um, a sort of built-in pillow. So tonight I've just got this mattress. I don't have a separate pillow. I thought I'd give it a test just on its own because I'm trying to go reasonably compact and lightweight. I've only got a 40 litre backpack on me. So you can get a sense of size a little bit better when it's out of the, uh, out of the bag. So I could have packed it away, perhaps a little bit, uh, a little bit tighter, but it does come with a nice strap. It does go back into the bag really easily, does deflate really easily, so I obviously took it for a little test at home, and it was really easy to get back into the bag, which is not something you can say with all uh, mattresses. I've left on the little instructions, so there's a little tag on the various points telling you what to do. So I'll take it off now, because I know what to do. So you just open this up, and you just stand on it, and it will inflate. Or you can do it by hand if you wanted to. It makes no real difference. If you've been out walking all day and your feet are tired or your feet are muddy, then it's quite useful just to use your hands because you can just do it completely inside the tent then as well. So you can have the mat behind me now inside the tent and inflate it without any issues. It is a decent sized sleep mat. There's this little one man fly top tent quite nicely. You can see the grid pattern there as well. And you see the really quite substantial built in pillow. Now it does inflate pretty quickly. I decided to inflate it by hand just to uh, keep the whole thing inside the tent and I couldn't be bothered to take my shoes off and I wanted to take my shoes off really if I was going to inflate by foot. But it has gone up pretty quickly. I'm 5'11 and I've got plenty of room on this sleep mat and there's absolutely plenty of width as well. I've got a nice wide sleeping bag tonight. So I should be able to take advantage of the whole width of this. Now I am a side sleeper and there's enough um, cushioning for me to sleep on my side and the pillow does seem really quite substantial so it's going to support my my neck nicely as a side sleeper so I'm looking forward to having a good night's sleep on it because I just don't see the point in those self-inflated mats I've got a couple of self-inflated mats now they are bulkier than this they're about the same weight as this but they're absolutely nowhere near the comfort so I kind of don't see the point in them. I'd much rather have something like this that is just a lot more usable um, than going the other way and just getting a self-inflated mat that just doesn't have the same comfort level at all, let alone this sort of really substantial, massive built-in pillow. As is pretty obvious now, that wild camp has finished. It was really comfy. I've used it again since at the beach as well. The pack size and it's really quite solid so I'm just taking it with me now on, on days out because it's just really comfy so on the beach it's much easier to take than, a, than a, perhaps a chair. You can lie out and it's got a decent pillow as well so I thought I would just do a couple of final things. One of which I'll do now is to time how long it takes to inflate by foot. Fully inflated in less than 1 minute 30 seconds and as it's a foot pump, not really a great hardship to do it either. Um, much, much better than any of the airbag inflatable bag things I've had before. Um, in my Unigear one, the bag takes just forever. Uh, on a wild camp I did recently, I just, yeah, it took me forever to get, it must have taken me a good 10 minutes to get it inflated using the, um, the airbag. So yeah, the foot pump is absolutely a piece of cake. Now, I really like this sleep mat. For me, it is really comfy, meets my needs as a side sleeper. The pillow is substantial enough for me not to pack a separate pillow. So the 900 odd grams of weight 
Um, it's not a problem for me because I don't have to take a pillow. The pack size is really good. It's a smaller pack size than my self-inflating mats and the R rating is pretty solid as well for two to three season use. So I'm gonna use this mat a lot. The only downside is that it is a nice, big, generous mat. And obviously it is completely rectangular. So there's no tapered end at either end, which will mean you've got to check carefully on your one man tents that this will actually fit in it. Behind me is the OEX Salamander Pro Bush bivy bag. Now it's a pretty generous bivy bag, but I think just looking at it, this is not going to fit into that bivy bag. I've got the same experience with my uh, Outdoor Research Healing bivy bag, the same of my um, Nordisk Farbard 1, and a few other of my little one-man tents. This mat just does not fit into it because some of those tents, they do taper at one end. And because this is like two meters long as well, there's just no way it's going to fit into the certain parts of the tent. <laughs> So just bear that in mind, um, obviously I camped in a one-man tent in this the first time, which was a, a gear top tent. A one-man tent, but a pretty generous one. This pretty much filled up, but it did fit absolutely fine. So just bear that in mind that you're gonna need to make sure your tents will fit this in. A lot of solo campers though, you do use one, you do use two-person tents anyway, so it won't be a problem. Just bearing in mind, if you wanted to go as light as possible, as small as possible, and take a really small little tent, this may not fit into it. Well, I did manage to cram it in actually. You can kind of see where it's just bulging and slightly lipped at either side just because this bottom tapers a little bit. But you could jam it in at a pinch, but obviously it's a single skin tent so it's gonna make condensation worse for it being touching the edge all the time. Obviously this sleeping mat was sent out to me to test. I've given it a wild camp. I've taken it to the beach. I'm using it now on a random hill with a little salamander bush pro bivy. I will be using this in a lot of future videos because it is a good pack size. It is very comfy. It is better than the other sleep mats I've got currently for, for all year round use or certainly two to three season use. So the only thing to remain to is the price. Uh, it's currently on Amazon for about £34.95 or about £33.25, depending on which colour you want to go for. And as of uh, 17th of June, which it is today, there is a 5% voucher which you can apply to that as well. So for me, it's really good value for money because it's got a better R rating than some of those self-inflated mats. It's about the same weight or lighter than those self-inflated mats and it packs down smaller and it's got the added advantage of having a built-in pillow and obviously it's really nice and thick and comfortable, which I don't get on so well with these self-inflating mats. So I think it's a really good piece of kit. And they have sent me a second item, which is a little tiny pump, which also seems like incredibly good quality as well. And with these mats, there is a limited uh, lifetime warranty on them as well. And it comes with a nice warranty card, which you can register online. Um, just generally, the packaging, the kind of overall experience from the company has been really, really positive so far. And the same goes for the tiny pump as well. Really, really nice bit of kit that looks like, and I will do a review of that coming up. Anyway, if you wanna see this sleep mat out and about with me, I'm hoping to take it on a few good wild camps this year. It is gonna be my go-to sleep mat now, as long as it fits into the tent I'm using. <laughs> if it doesn't fit into some of the, my smaller tents, I'll have to take something else. Um, but no, really pleased with it. Huge thanks to Axel for sending it out and also for sending me the tiny pump. Um, if you want any further information, then just don't hesitate to drop a comment. And obviously, if you want to see me using it in future videos, which I definitely will be doing, then subscribe to the channel and obviously drop the video a like if it's been of any use to you. Anyway, huge thanks for watching if you made it this far, and I'll catch you in the next one.